in time because um, I've been uh, involved in this uh, summer school uh, with the support of uh, Dr. Uh, Hasrat Ajumend. I would like to express my special thanks to him to involve us from uh, our country, from Romania, from uh, Sibiu. It is uh, a region uh, in the country. And uh, starting from the beginning, we uh, appreciate a lot uh, the efforts done for this uh, summer school. I was uh, impressed about the honorable uh, inviting speakers in the first session. I was uh, impressed and I am impressed about the um, delegates, faculty members, experts uh, involved in this summer school. And for sure, uh, all of us and the students present in this uh, summer school, we have a lot to learn and a lot to discover and to develop for their own uh, research development uh, and why not for developing new innovative methods or uh, concepts or uh, methodologies. And uh, this uh, session, I, uh, as far as I uh, seen and I studied, will be related to ecosystems, aquatic ecosystems, will be related to um, a part of biodiversity with forestry, as well as with um, some uh, ideas from geology. From the delegates part uh, will come a lot of uh, scientific uh, achievements and some of them are very, very popular in very nice images related to the wild uh, fauna uh, from uh, their countries. I have to tell uh, some uh, two words, let's say about myself. My name is Mihaela Antofie. I am a biologist as a basic uh, education. I work uh, in a university having the name of a philosopher, Lucian Blaga. Lucian Blaga is a follower of um, German philosophy. Uh, starting with uh, last century, the beginning of the last century. I really enjoyed philosophy. And uh, because uh, this summer school is uh, connecting all uh, people around the globe, a lot of countries and experts, uh, it is Plotinus uh, bearing in my mind, talking about uh, the beauty as uh, an assemblage of, uh, let's say, imperfections. We are so uh, nice together because um, we are coming from different countries with different cultures. And uh, maybe this is what we really need to progress in our research. So uh, it is a pleasure to be here today. And uh, it is um, a real honor for me to come here with uh, my uh, colleagues and to join uh, the group of uh, experts talking to this summer school. I will uh, pass uh, the floor to my uh, colleague, my co-chair uh, from Bangladesh, Dr. Muhammad Amar Farouk. And uh, I will uh, keep close to you, uh, dear colleague, for uh, optimizing everything here during this session. Thank you very much. Good luck, success. Uh, thank you, Dr. Pavel, Maria, Maela, and Tofi. Uh, sorry for if I, I, I read it, this second So uh, uh, this is Dr. Mohammed Farouk. I am working as an associate professor at the University of Kitawang, Bangladesh. I'd like, at first I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to the grassroots institute and as well as uh, Dr. Hasrat for inviting me and to uh, give me a chance uh, to work as a co-chair in this session. And it's an honor to have uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Professor Antofi as a chair of this session. <clears throat> so dear delegates and then all presenters and audience, uh, welcome to this session. And uh, we are going to start this session. 
So uh, the, the chair of this session, uh, she introduced about the program. So with the permission of the chair, I'm, I'm just uh, directly going to the session. I will call one by one. And um, before going to sessions or your presentations, I will just uh, introduce you very shortly. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm again uh, sorry uh, if I uh, read your name uh, in other way because it's very difficult to spell out properly. So uh, can I share my screen? Just to introduce uh, the first um, presenter, right? No, I cannot. Uh, Dr. Hasmat, can I? Can I can I show just uh, can I share my screen to to introduce the presenter one by one? Yes, yes, please, please okay. do. You please. Okay. okay, okay. Uh, I think uh, can you see the 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 first one? So <clears throat> at first, I'd like to I'd like to request uh, Professor Dr. Ermek by by the uh, this hope. Uh, he is from. From Maryland State University. Uh, please, uh, Dr. Farooq, please click this uh, bottom uh, full yes, screen, yes, full screen, right please. Yeah. It's okay now. So, uh, Professor Dr. Edmark, uh, by the, this show, uh, he's from Maryland State University and um, the country is Kyrgyz uh, Republic, right? So he is working on soil science, soil organic carbon, sustainable uses, natural resources, water and soil conversion technologies, sustainable food management, and water quality. Uh, he will talk on freshwater ecosystem and in mountain including water lands. So welcome, Doctor, uh, uh, Doctor Professor Doctor Ermak. You will get 30 minutes to complete your presentation, and uh, I hope you will enjoy your, your presentation. Please. Welcome, welcome, Professor Dr. Armek. You can start right now. Okay, thank you. Uh, can I share my screen? Yeah, yeah, definitely you can. Thank you. Yes, uh, dear participants of the summer school, dear organizers of the summer school, Dr. Hazrat Tarjumant. First of all, I want to thank all the organizers for inviting me uh, because of uh, hard work at the university. Uh, it was difficult for me uh, to prepare and also to present my presentation, but uh, I'll try uh, to present the results of my uh, research work and with my colleagues. And uh, I hope uh, it will be interesting for our summer school participants. And uh, I hope there will be also uh, questions and maybe suggestions for uh, cooperation uh, later. So uh, my presentation is about uh, freshwater ecosystems in mountains, including wetlands. And <clears throat> so I'll talk about freshwater in uh, Kyrgyzstan, about wetland ecosystems, and about climate change in Central Asia, where the Kyrgyzstan is uh, more uh, uh, covered and uh, how the pitlands are used in Kyrgyzstan and uh, how the pitlands are distributed in the whole country and uh, the uh, state of the pitlands, uh, what kind of plants are available there and what kind of the water quality like pH or electrical conductivity. It means the content of uh, salt in peatlands. And <clears throat> I'll also uh, talk about the uh, role of uh, forest. It's a floodplain forest, uh, the ecosystem uh, function of uh, floodplain forest uh, for uh, providing or supplying of uh, fresh water. And uh, I will also present some results of our field work. And at the end, I will finalize with uh, some conclusions. As for me, as uh, Mr. Mohammed Omar presented, I studied uh, agronomy at Kyrgyz National Agrarian University. And I'm a doctor of agricultural sciences uh, since 2003. And uh, I'm docent of ecology since 2010. And uh, 
my area of expertise it's already uh, announced and uh, since 2050 uh, i'm leading the kyrgyz soil science society uh, it was re-established in kyrgyzstan we had during soviet time uh, soil science society but after the collapse of soviet union it's uh, uh, not anymore existing therefore we renewed and we are working on uh, soil quality also and since uh, last year year i am rector of naran state university in kyrgyz republic so uh, freshwater and wetland ecosystem uh, this uh, wetlands are <clears throat> uh, near uh, surface groundwater areas and its presence on of uh, organisms adapted to survive in permanently saturated conditions so uh, there are many types of uh, wetlands it's uh, shallow areas coastal areas marshes swamps and uh, peat marshes or it's peatlands and uh, uh, the uh, smooth area it's a box areas with uh, or without peat horizon dominated by vegetation that may form peat it's in a uh, natural condition and the uh, peatlands or peatland uh, sites with a natural peat layer at least 30 centimeter whether or, uh, or not peat is currently forming and the uh, growing peatland is a peatland where peat is currently forming and accumulating uh, each year yeah? and the uh, wetland it's sites with a natural peat layer of less than 30 centimeter so uh, because of uh, mountain area in kyrgyzstan and uh, because of uh, glaciers and mountain rivers there are many uh, wetlands but uh, we are concentrating in uh, to study the uh, big uh, areas it's uh, uh, areas which uh, more than uh, 1000 uh, hectares uh, total Cover. And uh, wetland ecosystem provide important services. And uh, nowadays uh, they are uh, treated uh, because of uh, grazing or uh, because of uh, agricultural use. Yeah? And uh, there is uh, a lot of information about wetland ecosystems, but it's mainly in the north part of the earth. And uh, in arid climates, uh, wetland ecosystems are uh, plays a very important uh, role, especially with uh, regard to climate change. And um, uh, because, uh, as I mentioned, uh, wetlands are used in agriculture for grazing, it's under the uh, pressure now, yeah, uh, or damage. And the level of knowledge on wetland distribution and their natural properties in Kyrgyzstan is rather low and outdated. So there is lack of information. And uh, we uh, use uh, different methodologies to uh, define the wetlands and uh, uh, to check the types of wetlands. And because of uh, mountain region uh, in Kyrgyzstan, we have also uh, many glaciers. Here you can see also that the uh, whole territory of uh, glacier covered uh, area and um, uh, glaciers also source of fresh water and um, uh, fresh water comes uh, not only from glaciers so from the snow from wells and from rain and uh, <clears throat> important place in the natural resources in Kyrgyzstan it's uh, pot as a potential resource of glaciers and uh, it's a, a source of uh, pure fresh water. And um, uh, it forms uh, big rivers. Uh, in Kyrgyzstan, we have uh, many uh, mountain rivers. It comes from uh, glaciers. Yeah? And the uh, total uh, res uh, reserves of water uh, glaciers are estimated uh, 650 uh, cubic kilometers. And um, on the territory of uh, Kyrgyzstan, uh, there are uh, over uh, 6,000, 6.5 thousand uh, registered glaciers. And their total area is more than uh, 8,000 square kilometers. And 
the, uh, unfortunately, in Kyrgyzstan, there is no uh, university which uh, studying or which uh, uh, offering or suggesting study programs on glaciology. And um, it's also uh, my task uh, that uh, in the future at the Northern State University, we are going to establish a study program on glaciology in order to uh, study the uh, source of uh, fresh water. And um, uh, we are open and we are inviting uh, partners, uh, summer school participants also for cooperation uh, to establish such a study program. Because uh, Naran is uh, located at uh, 2,000 meters above the sea level and we are near to uh, glaciers. So uh, about uh, climate change in Central Asia, you can see uh, five uh, Central Asian countries and uh, Tajikistan is in first place. It's uh, vulnerable to climate change and Kyrgyzstan is in second place. And uh, there is a clear uh, trend towards uh, worsening climate conditions for living conditions uh, uh, because the uh, air temperature is increasing and precipitation and snow uh, precipitation is uh, not increasing, but uh, 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 it's uh, not uh, distributed for whole uh, season. It's uh, sometimes comes uh, in, uh, during short period and uh, in some uh, uh, during some vegetation period, uh, there is no uh, precipitation. So it changed the regularity of uh, precipitation. And the uh, climate aridization and desertification is also uh, increasing. And uh, uh, climate uh, related hazards uh, are also uh, increasing in whole uh, Central Asian uh, countries. And uh, uh, Weather events and uh, uh, the uh, melting of uh, glaciers is also uh, increasing, except uh, Turkmenistan in other countries. And the water resources, because of melting of uh, glaciers, it's uh, also in, uh, today it's uh, uh, in a normal level, but in the future we expect uh, more uh, uh, water. Uh, speed and uh, 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 but um, in 10 years uh, uh, we are expecting that uh, there will be water scarcity so uh, the uh, vulnerability of uh, Kyrgyzstan uh, is a uh, high uh, to climate change yeah <clears throat> and um, how the peatlands are uh, today using uh, uh, as I mentioned already, uh, peatlands are used for agriculture because of uh, collapse of this um, uh, coal house. It's a collective farm or state farm. Uh, now the uh, cattle uh, or livestock is privatized, but uh, uh, pastures, um, high mountain pastures are belonging to the community. And um, uh, this uh, marsh pastures, for example, will be used for grazing, uh, but uh, it's not uh, protected area and in some places the moor is uh, playing as a uh, hay field where the uh, uh, herders are uh, harvesting or collecting the hay and in swamp pastures because of uh, grazing uh, the degradation is uh, happening also intensively and uh, uh, it's not uh, now, but uh, during the intensification uh, or industrialization of uh, farm uh, marshland uh, were also plowed and used for agriculture. As you see in the pictures, uh, you know, farming on former uh, moorland is also uh, happened in uh, Kyrgyzstan. Where is the Kyrgyzstan? Uh, it's uh, in Central Asia. In the uh, north, so you have Kazakhstan. In the west, Uzbekistan. In the south, Tajikistan and Hina. The total territory is 200,000 uh, 200, uh, square kilometer. Population is about 7 million. Capital city is Bishkek here. And um, the climatic uh, conditions are very sharp continental. 
uh, because of uh, mountains. Uh, 94% of mountains are uh, uh, 1,000 above the sea level, and 40% of the territory uh, higher than uh, 3,000 meters above the sea level. And therefore, we have in mountain regions a uh, cold winter, it's up to uh, minus uh, 40 degrees, and uh, we have hot summer, uh, uh, plus 40 degrees, and precipitation is varies from 80 to uh, 400 millimeters in agricultural area. And <clears throat> uh, because of mountain ridges, we have also mountain lakes, uh, like uh, four mountain lakes, and uh, many uh, artificial uh, water reservoirs. And water reservoirs are used mainly for uh, production of, uh, producing of uh, electricity. And, um, uh, but uh, they are also playing uh, uh, in the ecosystem of uh, microclimate, it's also an important uh, role. And <clears throat> how the uh, wetlands are distributed in whole country, you can see also the uh, red uh, places, but uh, as I mentioned, we uh, studied uh, big areas, for example, uh, at uh, 800 meter above the sea level, uh, there are four, uh, 1,400 meter uh, 1,400 hectares are uh, wetlands, and at uh, 1,800 uh, meters above the sea level, uh, more than 1,000 hectares, and um, uh, it's at uh, 2,100 meters above the sea level, there is also uh, more than 1,400 hectares. It's a uh, uh, high mountain pastures. And uh, at uh, 2,300, uh, 800 meters above the sea level, it's also, uh, and at uh, 300 meters, the uh, most uh, or big territory of wetlands is uh, at uh, 3,000 meters above the sea level. It's uh, about uh, 5,000 uh, hectares. And <clears throat> about uh, 3,800 meters, there is uh, 2, 000, uh, 220. Uh, hectares are uh, wetlands. And uh, uh, I'll also uh, stop in each uh, level of the sea level, uh, how uh, it's uh, forming or what kind of uh, plants are um, existing there. And uh, because uh, the uh, rest of this uh, old plants are uh, uh, contributing to the uh, building of this uh, peatland. For example, concerning the shrubs, uh, salix, or concerning the reeds, uh, pragmites australis, or concerning the uh, sedges, carex, and uh, uh, the peat is uh, mainly uh, dominated uh, uh, pragmites or carex plants. It's uh, at uh, 800 meter, yeah? and now it's a uh, at a thousand meter higher than uh, first place. It's uh, uh, also uh, as a shrub, uh, shrubs or uh, bushes, salix is uh, represented and uh, also reeds uh, and uh, secondary reeds or sedges is also carex and uh, peat, it's uh, dominated by uh, carex. And <clears throat> The peatland uh, higher than 2,100 uh, 2, meters above the sea level. It's a uh, uh, caragana. It's also uh, small bushes, and uh, but it's uh, uh, good for uh, soil uh, saving or against uh, uh, degradation or water uh, soil washing but it's um, uh, in agriculture is uh, unused. And uh, there are also reeds and uh, sedges and um, peat is also carex and brown mosses because of uh, higher than uh, 2,000 meters above the sea level. And um, it's about 3,000 meters. There are most, uh, as a shrubs, uh, a little bit uh, salix uh, coesia and uh, there is no reeds and uh, sedges and uh, there are as a uh, plant uh, plant uh, cobrasia uh, it's also uh, uh, 
how can I say, a good uh, fodder for uh, uh, livestock, and therefore uh, this area is used uh, as a, a summer pasture uh, during the summer. And the peat is carex and uh, brown mosses. And the highest uh, wetland is uh, covered. There is uh, very uh, rare uh, salix poesia and sedges is also uh, the same. And uh, cobrasia is uh, dominated and also as a peat uh, brown mosses. And uh, this is uh, concerning the vegetation of peatland. And uh, all this vegetation is uh, uh, playing a role as a, a filter or for uh, providing the fresh water. And uh, you can see also here the uh, pH of uh, wetlands. And uh, uh, most of them are uh, uh, acid. And uh, uh, only in two places, it's uh, more or less uh, neutral uh, water. Or there is no uh, uh, less than uh, pH, uh, less than 7. Yeah? And uh, what's concerning? Uh, the uh, electrical conductivity of uh, wetland uh, water, it's uh, uh, near to neutral or it's uh, 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 weak, salty. Uh, electrical conductivity is uh, from uh, 300 uh, till uh, 700 uh, millisiemens uh, centimeters. It means it's uh, not so very salty, but uh, it's uh, uh, good for drinking also. And um, as I uh, mentioned that um, uh, not only wetland, uh, peatland are uh, playing a role for providing uh, fresh water and also the forest. And in Kyrgyzstan, uh, we have also coniferous forests from 2,400 till 2,800 meters above the sea level. And it's uh, uh, about 6.5% uh, uh, territory of, uh, of the country. And um, they're also using for accumulating the uh, fresh water and uh, providing of this, uh, supplying of this uh, fresh water. Because main um, uh, rivers are uh, starting from uh, mountain forest. And um, in Kyrgyzstan, we have also natural uh, walnut uh, fruit forest in the south of Kyrgyzstan. Walnut forest is about uh, 300,000 uh, hectares. And uh, it's also uh, uh, providing uh, many fresh waters and the rivers are starting from this uh, walnut forest in uh, different directions. And um, uh, many projects are now uh, working on it, how to uh, save this uh, walnut forest because of uh, natural walnut forest. And um, the floodplain forest, as I mentioned before, there are big rivers in Kyrgyzstan. And uh, the, uh, along the uh, rivers, uh, floodplain forest or uh, Owen forest is uh, existing. And um, it's also about 6% uh, of total area of Kyrgyzstan. And um, there are many uh, wells and uh, water sources are coming uh, from this uh, floodplain forest. And it's also used uh, for uh, uh, fresh water and uh, also for watering of uh, livestock and uh, this uh, area is also uh, each year increasing. Of course, there is lack of uh, study how the flood uh, plain forest is uh, uh, growing or what kind of uh, uh, factors are influencing uh, growing of uh, flood plain or what kind of uh, factors are influencing that uh, decreasing of uh, floodplain forest. And therefore, we implement also, or we realized a, a research uh, project study uh, in order to define uh, the use of floodplain forest, mainly by uh, mountain villages. Uh, it will be cut at, uh, trees and will be used for wood. And uh, 
uh, to collect for collecting of uh, berries, uh, uh, the uh, ecosystem function of uh, food plain uh, forest, and also for uh, grazing of uh, livestock. It's mainly cattle, and um, uh, because uh, small uh, livestock like uh, sheep and goats are in summer pasture during uh, summertime uh, and uh, but during starting from uh, autumn till uh, late spring uh, the uh, small uh, livestock also sheep and goats are grazing uh, in the uh, floodplain forest and of course it's uh, not good for providing with uh, fresh water and um, but uh, for the uh, Livestock owner, it's good because they can save uh, money for fodder uh, during uh, winter time. And um, uh, researchers of uh, Northern State University, uh, we uh, defined the uh, uh, floodplain uh, bed, uh, and uh, we installed uh, different uh, data loggers. Uh, to check uh, or to define the uh, groundwater level and also uh, to check the uh, water uh, humidity and uh, uh, water uh, and climatic uh, conditions also in this area. We installed uh, different uh, uh, weather stations along the uh, river bank. And um, uh, because uh, the riverbank is uh, changing uh, because of cutting of trees uh, or uh, use of uh, stone or um, other materials from the riverbank, the riverbank is uh, slowly changing uh, uh, the directions. And um, therefore, we uh, check measured the uh, riverbank and uh, we developed uh, for the uh, forestry administration and uh, uh, local uh, local self government administration different uh, types of uh, maps uh, how they can uh, monitor by themselves and uh, how they can see the changes of uh, river bank uh, for example in some places uh, uh, water sources from well it's uh, changed and uh, the villages were used uh, in these wells uh, for uh, taking water but in some places it's uh, getting uh, or it's drying and in order to uh, check uh, the reasons uh, we uh, develop different maps and um, this mapping of forest area for forest department uh, provided and uh, uh, we agreed that uh, we'll do uh, the same monitoring and uh, for uh, this uh, river bench, river bank uh, changing. And uh, we used uh, world, view, world view two imagery. It's uh, one pixel is 40 to 40 uh, centimeters, and it's a very precise uh, uh, imaginary. And uh, it's in different places along the uh, Naran River because Naran City, Naran State University is located along the Naran River. Therefore, uh, we are developing a long term um, study program for uh, floodplain forests and the uh, ecosystem uh, functions of uh, floodplain forests. And uh, I want to conclude my presentation that um, there are many risks uh, which could be uh, influenced for wetlands and forests uh, by the uh, unsustainable use of these uh, resources. For example, as I mentioned, the uh, drought of uh, increasing because uh, some wells are drawing. And um, the river bank is changing in some places. It's uh, damaging to uh, settlements or uh, villages along the rivers. And uh, of course, the uh, soil washing process is happening. And the role of uh, flood play forests also to accumulate these uh, sediments and uh, to filter off this uh, river because uh, downstream uh, uh, communities are using uh, from this river uh, for drinking the water 
And <clears throat> the recommendations is developed also for sustainable use of wetlands and forests that um, it needs a, a rule for regulation of wetlands and uh, forest use uh, because as i mentioned uh, they are wetlands are a common uh, property and the forests are belongs to the state but the uh, users are private yeah it's a cattle are private uh, livestock is private and uh, uh, people are uh, private private but they are using through their private activities all these resources and um, there is a lack of instruments for controlling of uh, wetlands and uh, forest use nowadays and therefore uh, it needs some instrument also and uh, uh, since uh, 2019 we started also uh, uh, initiated at the uh, community level uh, at three nurseries at the local level. It's uh, uh, like uh, uh, papel or uh, local uh, trees and uh, that the local uh, people started to uh, plant uh, trees uh, in order to avoid uh, uh, degradation. And also the uh, rotation of areas in the forest use. Uh, if the uh, farmers or herders are using the forest, we suggest, okay, you can use, but uh, please uh, uh, develop a, a rotation system. Otherwise, uh, if we, this use uh, unsystematically, uh, it can be happened that uh, uh, downstream will not have the uh, fresh water for drinking. Thank you. It was uh, short uh, for 30 minutes and uh, I invite also organizers and also uh, summer school uh, participants uh, to uh, come to Kyrgyzstan and to Naran State University and uh, we'll be happy for further cooperation. Thank you. If there are questions, I'll try to answer them. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Professor Dr. Armek, for your nice and informative presentation. Uh, one thing uh, I, I just uh, I just uh, I should mention here the question for the question uh, the audience cannot uh, ask question here directly the grassroots institution organizers they they send a link Google link for question so if anyone want to wants to ask question they can send the questions to the directly the presenter through the Google link please use that Google link for any question. Uh, thanks again, Professor Dr. Armek. Uh, Professor Dr. Armek, he has clearly illustrated the wetland systems in Kyrgyzstan, uh, along with their uh, uh, along with their diversity and uh, some environmental factors. And he also uh, he has mentioned uh, some threats like uh, soil erosion, uh, droughts, etc. And he has mentioned some uh, some regulations also. One important thing from his presentation is that with the increasing of the heights of the mountains, the mountains, the diversity also are changing. This is very important for your uh, presentations, I think. So uh, again, uh, again, again, thank, uh, thanks, Professor uh, Dr. Armek, for your presentations. Now <clears throat> is uh, time uh, time for the second uh, presenter. Uh, I just uh, let me let me share my screen and then I 